Hey guys, this is Nick Gallia with 3CX. Today we're launching version 18, two years in the making. But let me tell you where we see the market going and how 3CX fits in. A clear trend is that customers are reaching out to businesses more and more via text. Turns out 89% want to be able to text a business and use different platforms to do so. For business, SMS and Facebook are the most popular. But less than half the businesses can handle messaging. And if they can, they are using separate systems. The result, you need different teams to handle messaging and calls. You need to pay for and manage two systems. Plus you can't even move live chat conversations to the call center team. If the chat agent can't handle it, they have to ask the customer to call the call center, which means waiting and explaining the issue again. So what we need is a single integrated solution, one team for messaging and calls, and the option to switch a customer to a voice call for better support. Customers may want to reach out by text, but voice is often still the best way to explain stuff or be given a solution, for as long as we're human anyway. V18 delivers this solution, a customer communication system, not just inwardly focused on joining the team, but also on connecting the team with your customers to help them faster, better, and more efficiently. How do we do this? We reworked the internals to improve audio quality and increase reliability. First off, we managed the codecs better. The apps and the web client now use G711 to reduce transcoding. The result, less processor usage and better audio. The apps use G711 when on Wi-Fi and G729 when on the mobile network. Secondly, we tuned the voice engine, updating to the latest SIP library for compatibility. You can now more easily encrypt calls. We made it much easier to configure SRTP and our apps are fully IPv6 compliant. We merged the tunnel into the media server. For the apps and the SPC, this means more reliable and faster recovery from network drops or changes. On top of this, we reduced processor and memory usage by more than 50%. To take full advantage of these changes, we updated our Android and iOS apps. The result, a noticeable improvement in audio quality and reliability. Plus, we completely rewrote our push integration based on Google's and Apple's recommendations. So you're unlikely to ever miss a call again, certainly not on account of a missed push request. We also reviewed our hands-free and Bluetooth integration, and we have our sites on Siri, CarPlay, and Android 12. We updated to Debian 10, upgraded to the latest .NET Core, OpenSSL, and Postgres. Don't underestimate the importance of staying up to date. Some of our competitors are on operating systems that have been end of life for years. We have the latest ciphers, so now we have A plus on Polis Labs and A on Immuni Labs. You don't appreciate this until you're hacked. A massive new feature is Teams integration. Via our Teams SIP proxy, 3CX users can call Teams users and they can dial out via 3CX SIP trunks and call 3CX extensions. Now you can give Teams telephony to a few select users that really need it and save big. Plus, have a much more powerful PBX to boot. To log in to the web client, you can now use your Active Directory, Microsoft 365, or Google credentials. You can even use the local Active Directory using the free Azure AD Connect service. We also made admin rights more granular. A new phone system role allows management of phone system tasks, such as adding extensions or changing holiday settings. It does not allow system level management or SIP trunk changes. And with the new audit log feature, you can track all changes made to the system. Now it's safer to delegate everyday tasks to customers or junior administrators. On Windows, you can now install the web client as a native Windows app using a framework called Electron, also used by WhatsApp and Teams. This means it integrates better with the OS and avoids you having to log in again. And you no longer need the Google Chrome extension. Similar to the old Windows app, it allows you to keep it next to your main workspace, for example, your office or CRM application. Plus, we'll be supporting the new Yealink headsets, which are half the cost of the other headset vendors. 
In line with our vision, we have big plans for LiveChat. LiveChat is not new to version 18. We had purchased the most popular WordPress chat plugin in 2019 and delivered basic live chat in 3CX. In updates, we added Facebook support, an improved chat bubble, and better chat handling for the agent. Besides WordPress, we made our live chat bubble work on Joomla, Drupal, Shopify, Wix, and Weebly. We hosted it on Google CDN. Today, close to 5,000 companies are using 3CX live chat. But in updates coming, we're going to take it up a notch. First off, we'll support the new Google Messaging. This appears on searches in Google Maps and allows customers to reach out to you. We'll be adding Apple iMessage. We already included MMS and one-way SMS with alphanumeric sender ID, useful for customer notifications. An IVR-like option for chat will allow users to select which department they want to speak to, for example, sales or support. Chat ratings and better reports will allow you to evaluate the performance of your agents. And with better CRM integration, as well as knowing the page the visitor is chatting from, you'll empower your agents to understand better who the customer is and what they want. Finally, we can email the visitor their chat transcript or send them the response on their Facebook account, email or SMS. We're also working on integrating a help desk system that can be hosted together with 3CX. Plus, I'm happy to report that we have checked out your top 20 ideas and implemented most of them. Thank you and keep your feedback coming. Up next are Stefan and Natasha to talk about video conferencing and pricing. After that, please join us on the forum to discuss your questions. Thank you.